So we are concerned, uh, partly because we see the rhetoric uh, and we see that Russia is uh, trying to create some kind of pretext accusing Ukraine, United States, NATO allies for preparing uh, to use uh, chemical and biological uh, weapons. And we have seen before that this uh, 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 way of accusing others is actually a way to create, to create a pretext for do the same uh, uh, themselves. Uh, and, and of course, the ac accusations against the Ukraine and NATO allies are absolutely false chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear threats. Is that based on credible... In Allies agreed to supply equipment uh, to help Ukraine protect against uh, chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear threats. Uh, this could include um, uh, detection uh, equipment, uh, protection and medical support, as well as training uh, for the uh, contamination and crisis management. We are also enhancing allies' uh, preparedness and readiness for chemical and biological and nuclear threats. Allies agreed that we must also increase our support for other partners. At so we are resetting NATO's deterrence and defence for the long term uh, with more troops, uh, with uh, more air assets and more maritime capabilities. We have already increased our presence in the East and today we decided on four new battle groups and the leaders uh, agreed to task our military commanders to provide options uh, for uh, a long-term reset of our uh, presence, our military posture in the eastern part of the alliance and across the whole alliance. Russia of deploying phosphorus munitions. I'm wondering whether NATO has seen evidence of that. We are determined to do uh, all we can to support Ukraine. And I welcome the concrete offers uh, of assistance made by allies today. At the same time, we have a responsibility to ensure the conflict does not escalate further. Because this would be even more dangerous and more devastating. Different frameworks, G7 working with the EU. Uh, allied leaders called on China to refrain from supporting uh, Russia's war effort. China must not provide economic or military support for the Russian invasion. Instead, Beijing should use its significant influence on Russia and promote uh, an uh, immediate peaceful resolution.